I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by, and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me, and made me know the interpretation of the things. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. The two-third doctrine is a doctrine many Israelites use in the awakening to influence other Israelites to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. For a period of time, I couldn't understand why two-thirds of our people would perish when majority of our people have accepted and worshipped Jesus as their Lord and Savior in religion and Yahshua in the awakening. According to religion, the only way to receive salvation, you must accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Christianity is the most popular religion among the indigenous black people. Most black people are Christians. If the two-third doctrine is speaking of black people as a whole, why so many will perish if more than 90% of indigenous black people have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior? If the two-third doctrine is only talking about Israelites, not all black people are Israelites. The Israelites are the fewest people from all nations. The Most High chose the Israelites because they were the fewest of all people, as well as to fulfill the covenant promise he made to their forefathers. Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. If you look into religious data, you will see Christianity is the most popular religious faith among black people. In America alone, 75% of the black population identify as Christians. The world current population is approximately 8.1 billion. Over 6 billion have some sort of faith. Christianity is the most popular faith in the beast culture. If majority of people living today have some sort of religious faith, how come so many will perish? If salvation is only found in Jesus, why is the population of the wicked outnumbered the righteous if majority of the world accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior? If more than half of the people in this world have some sort of religious faith, how come so many will perish? For a long time, I couldn't understand why two-thirds of our people would perish until the Most High started to increase my knowledge about the real Messiah. Israelites, don't be afraid of knowledge at this time. The Most High said in the last days, your knowledge would increase. Many will run to the scriptures. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The reason our people remain at the bottom, they are quick to reject knowledge. Some Israelites will honor and accept the opinions and wisdom of the heathens more than the truth of the Most High's words. Some Israelites will allow the heathens' wisdom to overrule everything in their life. If the heathens don't confirm it, they will not believe it. A lot of Israelites are still bound mentally. Some can't see past the slave mentality. How have you returned to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth when you view and dissect everything the way your oppressors have taught you? How are you walking in the spirit? Yet when the Holy Spirit is revealing truth, you become upset and afraid. If you truly serve the Father in the spirit and in truth, why are you running to the heathens for confirmation? Why isn't the Father via His Spirit the first you seek to get wisdom about a person or a message? Why do some of you conduct a Google search first before seeking the Father for answers? Whatever article that comes up about the topic you're looking for is an opinion of another person. Who is guiding you, the Holy Spirit or the Satan's? 
If the Holy Spirit is guiding you, the spirit of fear shouldn't have any authority over you. The Most High did not give us the spirit of fear, but of peace and of a sound mind. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The fact that some Israelites are afraid to increase their knowledge by reading books other people have condemned lets me know a lot of you are controlled by the workers of iniquity in the beast culture. You shouldn't be terrified to read a book. If you have the Holy Spirit guiding you in the spirit of discernment, you should be able to find the truth in whatever book you're reading. The problem many Israelites have is that they can't discern truth in the scriptures as well as in other supporting books. Because they are unable to do this, they discredit the messages, the apocrypha books, and many various books revealing truth just like the oppressors have taught them. Some Israelites discredit messages and other books that reveal the truth to continue in their sins. Israelites, this is how our people are perishing for a lack of knowledge. You keep rejecting knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Let us look into Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. The scripture said, The Most High have rejected you for rejecting knowledge. This scripture often go over a lot of Israelites' head. When you reject knowledge, the Most High rejects you. Not only does the Most High reject you, but the Father also said you won't be a priest to him. The reason you can't be a priest to him, you have forgotten his laws. As a consequence to forgetting the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, the Father will also forget your children. Listen to the scripture again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Some Israelites really need to be careful with the decisions you make. Your decisions don't only affect you. Stop letting the spirit of rejection and the opinions of the heathens cause you and your children to be rejected by the Most High. A lot of you are quick to condemn and reject the truth of the Most High's words. Just because some of you don't have the spirit of discernment, it doesn't mean all of us don't have discernment. There are people like me who can find what is hiding in plain sight. Just because I have the ability to do this with the guidance of the Holy Spirit and some of you can't, it doesn't mean I was misled or misguided. The Most High has opened my eyes to truth. If the Most High hasn't opened your eyes to receive this truth, ask the Father and He will show you when you're able to handle the truth. The Most High should be the one you seek for answers, not Google. That is what walking in the Spirit is all about. You're going to uncover truth. The workers of iniquity in the beast culture is hiding from you by discrediting the person, the scriptures, and various books. It's about time you understand how the Satans operate. If you discredit a book because you read the opinion of another person talking about the author of a book, the person's opinion of the author is about them worshiping idols. Majority of you are idolaters and walking around with legions of unclean spirits operating in you just like the man in the tomb. We all have sinned and fallen short. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Our nation, first King Saul, seek out a woman with a familiar spirit to hear from the Most High when the Father stops speaking to him. There's no difference in seeking one with a familiar spirit and channeling spirits. A lot of you are controlled by unclean spirits unawares. I just finished the Spirit Realm and Spiritual Warfare series exposing this information to you. A lot of you turn a blind eye to your heroes in the scriptures. But when it comes to people in our generation speaking truth, Suddenly, they can't be used by the Most High because they are a woman or teaching you truth that don't correspond with religious doctrines. King David was a murderer and committed adultery. Moses was a murderer. Reuben slept with his stepmother. Judah slept with his deceased son's wife and had children by her whose descendants you are if you're from the tribe of Judah. 
Yet you look past all of their sins and all the iniquity in our nation. The moment you did your research and your research consists of an internet search, your finding was based on someone else's opinions. You believe them? Despite of all of us falling short, the Most High can still use some of us to help his people. The Bible is altered and missing a lot of books. Are you going to throw the Bible away? This is how our people continue to perish for a lack of knowledge. The Most High will use whomever he wants to show himself strong through. Some of the people the Most High will use are not Israelites. The Most High will use the strangers to do his will if he choose. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. The strangers are none Israelites. The Most High will use anyone. Don't let the workers of iniquity and unclean spirits stop you from increasing your knowledge at this time. If you truly serve the Father in the spirit and in truth, nothing should make you afraid. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. As long as the Holy Spirit is guiding you, the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Nobody has the power to take away a person's anointing. Speaking foolishly will cost you. Remember, you have to give an account to your every word. The affairs of the Most High is not a joke, and a lot of people are playing games. The scripture said you reap what you sow. Also, the word said, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeit his soul? What can a person give in exchange for their soul? But what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? The end for the wicked is eternal fire. What do I gain for misleading anyone? The Satan's promise riches and power in the beast culture. This channel is on someone else's platform being shadow banned for revealing deep truth. I live a regular life like most of you. I wouldn't sell my soul for the crumbs of this world. I definitely don't want to spend eternity in the lake of fire with the Satans I've been exposing on this channel for the past eight years. I don't want to see any of my people spend eternity in agony, especially when we have spent our entire life being oppressed. The platform that hosts this channel and many other channels you listen to is owned by workers of iniquity who serve the Satans. Are you going to stop using this platform? Some of you need to humble yourself and stop letting the spirit of fear disable you. Listen to the scriptures. Be slow to speak and slow to become angry. Seek the face of the Father and he will reveal truth to you. You will find a Father if you look for him with all of your heart. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. A lot of people are not looking for the Father with all of their heart and mind. Most people are looking for the Savior of this world, which is why they cannot comprehend what the Father is doing through his people at such a time like this. Israelites, you have to spend time in the presence of the Most High to increase your knowledge. Increasing your knowledge is not doing an internet search. Remember, it's the Holy Spirit that guides you into all truth. You need the Holy Spirit to understand the affairs of the Most High. No one knows the affairs of the Father except His Spirit. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Israelites, the time has come for you to cut off your dependency on the heathens and the beast culture. You don't need the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Father. The time has come for you to walk in the Spirit. Israelites, stand firm. Don't let other people's unbelief and little faith in the Most High hinder you. Don't be afraid to seek knowledge. The heathens will put the truth in their books and bury the truth with many lies. That is why you need the spirit of discernment and the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you. The book of Enoch said, The heathens will pollute the word of the Most High in various ways. The heathens will write books concerning their words. 
the book of Enoch went on to say, when they sought to write the truth of the Most High's words, truthfully, these books will be given to the righteous and it will bring joy and wisdom. And now I know this mystery, that sinners will alter and pervert the words of righteousness in many ways and will speak wicked words and lie and practice great deceits and write books concerning their words. But when they write down truthfully all my words in their languages and do not change or minish aught from my words, but write them all down truthfully, all that I first testified concerning them, then... I know another mystery, that books will be given to the righteous and the wise to become a cause of joy and uprightness and much wisdom. The testament of the 12 patriarchs to our nation revealed that several of the sons of Jacob read the book of Enoch to increase their knowledge and understanding, as well as to find out what would happen to their children in the latter days. By the way, Enoch wrote over 300 books. Some of you will not receive these books with the word of the Most High because you're too afraid to read a book based on someone else's opinions. To the remnant, don't let other people's lack of faith and unbelief derail you. Some of the people that come to our channels are not Israelites or indigenous black people, but agents of chaos sent by the workers of iniquity to steal the good seed planted in you. Israelites, learn from the parable of the sower. Let every seed planted in you by the Holy Spirit fall onto good grounds. Don't allow the Satans and their disciples to steal the truth the Most High is revealing to you at such a time like this. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received a seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that received a seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit, and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Spiritual growth brings change. Just like how the word of the Most High can pierce your soul and spirit to bring forth change. If you're not changing, then you're not growing spiritually. The truth of the Most High's words is supposed to transform you. A lot of Israelites are stagnant. That is why they're not growing spiritually. They like it when seducing spirits speak lies to them. The scriptures did say a time is coming when many will not endure sound teachings, but have itching ears and will look for teachers that teach doctrines that suits their lusts, just as we are witnessing today. But the time will come when they will not endure sounder doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they Keep to themselves teachers having itching ears. Two-third of this world's population is trapped in religion. Two-third in percentage is 66.67. According to data gathered in 2010, when the world's population was 6.9 billion, 5.8 billion people had some sort of religious affiliation. That is 84% of the world's population in 2010. 84% is greater than the 66%. Fast forward to 2023, with a world population of little over 8.1 billion, 75% of the current world population is affiliated with religion. There's approximately 25% of this world's population with no religious affiliation. 75% is very close to the 66.67% that equate to the two-thirds. As knowledge is increasing, more and more people are disassociating themselves with religion. That is how we see a decline from 84% in 2010 to 75% in 2023. I will ask you, Israelites, is religion the narrow road that leads to eternal life? Let me remind you of what the scripture said. Narrow is the way that leads to life, and a few will find it. 
If religion is the path that leads you to the most high, why is the road overpopulated? The scripture said, broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many will be on that road. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Anyone who is seeking the Most High the Father will not find him in religion. The Most High is not the creator of religion. The Most High does not dwell in the temples made with man's hands. The Most High is certainly not in the temples that house the idols of the heathens, whom many Israelites serve. The scripture said the heathens will make their sacrifice to idols and not to the Most High. Why would the Most High the Father be in their temples or any of their various religious institutions? By now you should come to the realization that everything you learn in religion is a lie. None of their doctrines correspond with the word of the Most High. Let me ask you, Israelites, what do you have in common with religion? Your journey with the Most High is spiritual, not religious. That is why you have to walk in the Spirit and worship and serve the Father in the Spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The Most High never said you would find him in religion. The Satans use their disciples, the workers of iniquity, to establish religion to rule over you, in addition to cause a separation between you and the Most High. The religious path is the broad road that leads to destruction. The two-third that will perish align perfectly with the word of the Most High that said, broad is the way that leads to destruction. A lot of Israelites, as well as heathens from both species of mankind, worship and follow the image of the beast. Some won't listen or even consider that the one they have accepted and worship as God is a deception. Because so many Israelites are stuck on Jesus and reject knowledge, they are like the rest of the heathens who are following and worshiping the image of the beast. The book of Revelation said the world will worship the beast, everyone whose name is not written in the book of life. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. The scripture said, Satan is the God of this world. The scriptures went on to say that he is the prince of the air. The most popular God in this world is Jesus. Jesus is worshipped all over the world by both species of mankind. In addition, the graven image of Jesus is the most worshipped image in this world. Every altar in the church is built to Jesus and the graven image on the altar reveal whom the altar is built to. I spent several weeks in the spiritual warfare and spirit realm series teaching you about the altars. The heathens have altars built to their idol gods all over the world. The scripture said in the book of Revelation that a second beast will come out of the earth. This beast had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. The false messiah that came in his own name have stolen the identity of the real lamb of the Most High. The false messiah posed as the Most High in the flesh, as well as the lamb that is supposed to deliver the righteous. The description of the beast in the scriptures said the second beast resembled a lamb. The scriptures went on to say that the second beast spoke like a dragon. The God so many Israelites have accepted as their Lord and Savior, the false messiah, speak like the dragon. The God of this world is extremely lawless. His disciples teach that the laws of the Most High are done away with. This messiah also declared himself to be the Most High, the Father. His disciples teach that he is God in the flesh, just as the book of Revelation said that he will speak great blasphemy against the Most High. The whole world will wonder after the beast. And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast, and they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, 
and them that dwell in heaven. The whole world wonders after Jesus. If anyone say or try to show that Jesus is not the most high in the flesh, his followers will slander your name and call you all kinds of devils. Even in the awakening, the power the dragon have over some Israelites and everyone who followed the ways of the beast culture cannot see the deception. Just as the scripture said, many people who follow the beast will proclaim, who can war against the beast? The God of this world have blind the eyes of many that they cannot see the great deception that is in the false Messiah. The doctrines from Rome is a stumbling block to all who believe in them. The scriptures speak of several beasts that will rise in the earth. Behind all the beasts that appear on the earth is the dragon. Dragon is another name for Satan. The book of Revelation revealed that the dragon gave the beasts power and authority and the beast which i saw was like unto a leopard and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority i've always said to you israelites it's not about what you can see the flesh our warfare is not carnal in the flesh is the beast however behind the beast is the dragon the power and authority behind the beast you see comes from the dragon. The beast is doing the will of the one who gave him the power and authority. I hope you can now understand why the scripture said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. I hope you can now see why I spent the last five months teaching you about the spirit realm. Spiritual warfare is very real and important on your spiritual journey. There's a lot of people in and out of the awakening that worship false gods. The false Messiah is one of the greatest deceptions of all times. The real Messiah, a lot of you are still rejecting him until this day. The Israelites have a history of rejecting the people the Most High raised to help them. Moses is one of the prophets the Most High showed himself strong through in his generation. Despite of all the Most High has done through Moses, the Israelites in his generation rejected him. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai, and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us, to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from them and in their hearts turned back again into Egypt saying unto Aaron, Make us gods to go before us. For as for this Moses which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we want not what is become of him. Israelites, I hope you can see how the spirit of rejection is causing you to make horrible decisions. The scripture said you perish because you lack knowledge and also you reject knowledge. It's through you rejecting the truth of the Most High's words that two-thirds will not make it. The truth shall make you free. A lot of you are as rebellious as our ancestors. Our ancestors rejected the Messiah. And today in this generation, a lot of Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world are still rejecting the Messiah, the Prince. Some of you are wondering, how did you reject the Messiah when you have accepted Jesus or Yeshua as your Lord and Savior? A great majority of you don't believe the Holy Angel Michael is the Messiah, the Prince. Therefore, you reject him, just like our ancestors who said, let his blood be on us and on our children when they hand the Messiah over to be murdered. The scripture said in the book of Acts that our ancestors who were alive at that time rejected their prince, just like you're doing today, rejecting your prince. The scriptures in the book of Acts calls the Messiah, the prince of life that was rejected. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. The God of our fathers hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. Peter is the one that was speaking to the Israelites in the scriptures you just heard. Peter called the Messiah the Prince of Life that the Israelites rejected. Another name for the angels are Prince. 
who is your prince, Israelites? I have yet to hear of other Israelites speaking boldly about the prince that is over our people. Everyone is talking about the false Messiah that died for the sins of the world. The one the disciples of Satan proclaim to be God in the flesh, supporting the doctrines of Rome. So many have rejected the prince of life that is over our people and all the righteous. The book of Daniel revealed the identity of your prince. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. And there is none that holdeth with me in these things, but Michael, your prince. Some of you want me canceled and have me removed like our ancestors did with the real Messiah for telling you the truth. Some of you act just like our ancestors when the real Messiah tried to lead them back to the Father. The real Messiah that is hidden in the scriptures, our ancestors treated him poorly like the Israelites have done to every prophet. This generation is doing the same thing. In the words of the Messiah, because I tell you the truth, you don't believe me. If you belong to the Father, you would hear his words. If you can't hear his words and understand them, you're not of the Father. You belong to the God of this world, Jesus. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. The more the Holy Spirit opened the sealed scriptures to me, it gives me an even greater confirmation of the Israelites are indeed black. The way some Israelites are responding to the truth of the Most High's words in the awakening are identical to the response of our ancestors in the scriptures. Only the Holy Spirit can show you the similarities our people share with the Israelites in the scriptures. Because the sin of idolatry is a great sin in the Israelite nation from the beginning, the Israelites in this generation continue in the sin of idolatry unawares. Majority of Israelites serve and worship Jesus. Even Yahshua, some Israelites worship and believe he is the most high in the flesh. Because of the belief of the Messiah being God in the flesh, a lot of Israelites are being destroyed. They worship the creature more than the creator. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever. Amen. A lot of Israelites reject white Jesus. Yahshua is the same as white Jesus. The only difference in Yahshua is that the Israelites only restored his image. In the process of restoring Yahshua's image, the Israelites did not restore his identity. Most Israelites continue to worship Yahshua and believe Yahshua is God in the flesh, just as the heathens believe and created graven images in their likeness. Majority of Israelites call on Yahshua for help. Some don't even consider the Most High the Father. Israelites, it's the Most High the Father that has to command Yahshua to help you. If you don't ask the Father, how are you receiving any help? The Messiah said anything you ask the Father in his name, when you pray to the Father, he will do it. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. The Messiah said, ask in his name. The scriptures didn't say to pray in Yahshua's name. That is a big difference. The Messiah said, anything you ask the Father, he will do. Religion said, pray in his name. Our fathers never prayed in anyone's name. In addition, when the Messiah taught the disciples how to pray, the prayer didn't specify his name. The prayer the Messiah taught his disciples was directed to the Father. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive every one that is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
if the Messiah said to pray to the Father, why are you praying to Yahshua and calling on Yahshua for help instead of the Father? You must cry out to the Father and the Father will send you help. A lot of Israelites misunderstand the scriptures and me when I say worship the Father and serve the Father. The scripture said we must worship and serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. The scriptures didn't say to worship the Messiah, but the Father. When you have the Father, you gain access to his army. The Messiah is the commander in chief to the army of the Most High. If Israelites take the time to let the Most High renew their mind, in addition, spend time in the presence of the Most High instead of researching the internet for truth, you would comprehend the word of the Most High. Let's go back to the scriptures in the book of Revelation chapter 13 that said, everyone whose name that is not written in the Lamb's book of life will worship the beast. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. The Lamb of the Most High has a book with the names of all the righteous the Most High gave to him. Religion teach that you have to accept the Messiah. However, the scriptures in the Bible said the Most High gave him the righteous. The Messiah said all the people the Most High gave to him, he will lose none. That the saying might be fulfilled which he spake, of them which thou gavest me, have I lost none. What you accepted in religion was Baal as your Lord and Savior. The holy angel Michael is the angel that is over the Israelites and all the righteous. The book of Enoch confirmed this truth in chapter 20. We know that when the Messiah returns to deliver the righteous, all whose names written in the book of life will rise when they hear the voice of the archangel. Michael is the archangel, the Bible confirms. But the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Religion teach that the Messiah will come to save the world. The Messiah is coming to save the righteous only. Religion teaches half truth. The world recognized Jesus as the Messiah. When the real Messiah returned, the dead, whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life, will rise. The Bible confirmed who will come after the tribulation period is over to deliver all the righteous in the end times. When he comes, all the dead will rise, everyone whose name is written in the book. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. The great Prince Michael would stand up for the righteous and at that time our people would be delivered. Remember, it's the job of the Messiah to deliver the Israelites. The only people that will be redeemed is the Israelites that return to the Father and all the righteous whose name is written in the book. Verse 2 in the book of Daniel chapter 12 went on to say that the dead will rise, some to eternal life and some to eternal shame. The book of Daniel confirm Michael is the one delivering the righteous. The scriptures did not say Jesus. All of this is written in your Bible. In this generation, majority of Israelites and indigenous black people don't know Michael. They know Jesus. Michael is the real lamb of the most high. Is your name written in the lamb's book of life? Majority of you reject the holy angel Michael. Your rejection corresponds with the verse in the book of Revelation that said, everyone whose name is not written in the book of life will worship and follow the beast. Majority of the world worship and follow Jesus. Christians are followers of Jesus Christ. Some Israelites are followers of Jesus Christ. A few have changed his name to Yahshua. I will ask you again, which path is the narrow path? Michael or Jesus. The scripture said, narrow is the way that leads to life, and only a few will find it. 
because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. The belief of the holy angel Michael being the Messiah is known and believed among a few in the awakening and out of the awakening. The belief of Jesus being the Messiah is widely accepted all over the world. Israelites, can you see why two thirds will perish? The real Messiah was leading the sheep back to the father. Many Israelites rejected him and choose to follow other gods. Today, I'm telling you to return to the father. The scripture said in the book of Isaiah that only a remnant will return to serve the father. Despite the population of the Israelites is as numerous as the sand of the sea, only a remnant will return. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. Only a few Israelites understand the word of the Most High, and only a few heard the call from the Most High to return to him. A great majority of Israelites is letting the spirit of fear and doctrines of devils from religion cause them to reject the Prince of Life. Rejecting knowledge will cause you to be rejected by the Most High. If you don't have the Father, you don't have the Prince of Life. All Israelites who are rejected for rejecting knowledge are increasing the population of the two-thirds. Broad is the way that leads to destruction, confirm the two-third doctrine. In addition, only a remnant will return to serve the Father. The population of the remnant doesn't correspond with the amount of people following religion for salvation. Religion is truly the broad road that leads to destruction, which confirms the two-third who will perish. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. One third in percentage is 33.33. There's approximately 25% of this world's population not affiliated with any religion. Out of the 25%, how many are atheists? How many have acknowledged the true identity of the Father, the Messiah, and his chosen people? In the population of the one third, how many are Israelites that have returned to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth? When you view the word from this perspective, can you comprehend how narrow the road to life is? The whole world is wandering after the beast, and they don't even know it. A lot of Israelites in and out of the awakening worship and serve the beast. Majority of you have rejected your Redeemer. The sad part about this, no matter how I present this truth to you, some of you will allow the Satans and the workers of iniquity to steal this truth from you. To the remnant, stand firm. You will reap if you faint not. The little things, such as rejecting knowledge, can cause you to miss the kingdom. Israelites, you have to let the Most High transform you by renewing your mind. The deep things of the Most High will separate the tares from the wheat. The Most High is doing just that, gathering the tares to burn them, because the harvest is near. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. There is a lot hidden in plain sight in the scriptures. In the coming weeks I will show you. For a long time I pondered how can two-thirds perish when the Most High is pouring out his Spirit on all flesh in the last days. In addition, the Most High said knowledge would increase. The truth of the Most High's words have a way of sanctifying his people. Truly, the remnant will understand. To the Israelites who deny the Prince of Life, religion has been wrong about a lot of things. What made you believe that their doctrines about the Messiah is true? Duality is how the Satans are deceiving the whole world. The deep things of the Most High can only be comprehended by the people who allow themselves to be taught by the Most High through his spirit. 
Israelites, make sure only the father is ordering your steps. Don't give the other species of mankind or anyone that kind of power over you. 67% of 8.1 billion is 5.4 billion, which is close to the 6 billion trap in religion. A lot of you are led to believe that you were serving the father. The truth is majority of you are serving and worshiping the Satans, especially if you're in religion. Most of you don't know that you were worshiping idols because you keep rejecting knowledge. Israelites, narrow is the way that leads to life and a few there be that finds it. Are you among the few? Save me, O God, by thy name and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them, Selah. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. <laughs>